Hello everyone, Dustin Zane with Creating the Difference. Today we're going to be talking about bowling ball performance factors and which one matters most. The four factors of bowling ball performance are a way to classify the most important contributions to ball motion as it pertains to a bowling ball. And the performance is measured in the amount of total hook. The four factors are cover stock, surface, core, and layout. First up, we have cover stock. In this video, we're comparing a polyester versus a reactive bowling ball. These bowling balls have the same core, the same layout, and the same finish. These shots are also thrown by a robot and are thrown in the same environment. By taking a look at these two shots, you can definitely see that we do have a pretty considerable performance difference um, in these two shots. And the data shown on screen was gathered by Specto. Between these two shots, reactive versus polyester, the reactive bowling ball outhooked the polyester bowling ball by 11 and a half boards. Now let's move on to surface. Here we have two shots, one bowling ball with 500 grit and the same bowling ball surfaced to 5500 grit hand applied polish. These two shots are bowling balls with the same core, the same layout, same cover stock, these are also thrown by a robot and they are thrown in the same environment. Which bowling ball performance factor do you think matters most? Let us know in the comments down below and we'll show our findings at the end of the video. When comparing the 500 grit true cut bowling ball to the 5500 grit hand applied polished bowling ball, we saw a performance difference of 13.4 boards. Now let's talk about layout. We have two bowling balls, one with a one and a half inch pin to PAP and the other with a three and a half inch pin to PAP. These bowling balls have the same core, same surface, same cover stock, they're thrown in the same environment and you can find this full video available on Storm's YouTube channel. You can see after taking the data and reviewing the measurements that these bowling balls had very similar performance when going down the lane as well as their position when hitting the head pin. The data shows us that the 3.5 inch pin to PAP bowling ball outperformed the 1.5 inch pin to PAP bowling ball by one board. Now let's talk about the core. We have two bowling balls here, one drilled asymmetric and the other drilled symmetric. These bowling balls have the same cover and surface but have different core numbers after drilling. This video is available on Tracks YouTube channel. Check them out for the full video. Here we're comparing the same bowling ball, one with an asymmetric core and the other with a symmetric core. And this is actually the same model of bowling ball drilled differently. You can see that these two bowling balls are thrown on two different lines. And you can see that the asymmetric bowling ball is hooking more than the symmetric bowling ball. Let's take a look at the data and see the performance differences. The asymmetric bowling ball outperformed the symmetric bowling ball by 8 boards. Now let's take a look at all the data we have gathered and give you a ranking on the 4 factors of bowling ball performance. Surface is our number one factor, followed behind cover stock, core, and then layout. Keeping a fresh surface on your equipment is super important and you can keep your surfaces fresh by using the true cut line of surface products. We recommend keeping all of this information in mind, surface, cover stock, core, and layout when you go to talk to your local pro shop operator about getting you a new bowling ball. Are you interested in learning more about bowling education? I welcome you to join our staff. Head on over to ctdbowling.com Click on the regional staff sign up link and you can sign up to be a member of Team CTD for free. If you have any questions or need more information, be sure to check us out at ctdbowling.com. Dustin Zander with Creating the Difference. Have a great day.